Prince of Persia come from? Well, you know, 25 years ago when I set out to create the original Prince of Persia game on the Apple II, you know, I was really inspired by movies and especially by uh, the first 10 minutes of Raiders of the Lost Ark with that really visceral physical action and that sense of peril. You know, I wanted to bring that to a game so that when you played it, you know, running and jumping, you would really feel that if you missed and you fell, it would hurt. It took you a while to uh, to get the idea to make a to make a movie of it, did, did it? You, you know, I, Prince of Persia is a game that was really inspired by movies, uh, and especially you know those old swashbuckling adventure movies like Robin Hood and The Thief of Baghdad. So you know, I think it's it's very appropriate that Prince of Persia is finally you know becoming a movie in its own right. Uh, I, I think you know it's taken this long uh, because you know video games have evolved in the last 20 years from kind of a you know a fringe thing. I don't think anybody in 1985 would have thought that a movie could be made based on a video game to, to now you know, to the point where uh, video games are really a mass market you know cultural phenomenon. And uh, why did you pick Jerry Bruckheimer as the producer to go to with this film? Uh, you know. Uh, Prince of Persia, I mean, is really a throwback to those old-fashioned adventure movies. Uh, and uh, when I was making the game with uh, a team in Montreal, uh, The Sands of Time, we went and saw Pirates of the Caribbean in the, in the local theater. And, you know, Jerry Bruckheimer had really done for those old swashbuckling pirate movies exactly what we were trying to do uh, with Prince of Persia for these uh, Arabian Nights inspired movies, you know, bring back a, a cinematic genre that really hadn't been done, you know, in decades. And, and you know, J Jerry is, you know, th the biggest, uh, most successful producer in Hollywood. And, you know, I couldn't have, you know, asked for anything better than to have Prince of Persia brought to the screen, you know, on such a spectacular scale, you know, by Jerry Bruckheimer. How does Jake fit the bill? Well, you know, it's always difficult when, uh, you know, you've got, you know, millions of people who have connected with a character in their imaginations already. You know, whether it's by playing a video game or reading a novel, you know, you imagine the character in a certain way. And so no flesh and blood actor, you know, can really match the image that we have in our head because we all imagine the character differently. Uh, but I was really delighted uh, that Jake Gyllenhaal, you know, agreed to become the Prince of Persia. Uh, because first of all, most importantly, he's a very good actor. And you know, I think he's got a humanity and, and a warmth that is so important, you know, for an audience to connect with this character. But then to see, you know, the incredible physical shape that he got himself into, in uh, you know, and the things that he learned how to do in, in this movie, and you know, that you know, I think I think he makes an absolutely convincing prince. What what is the um, this is one of the most popular games. What is it, what is its place in, in, in game history? The Prince of Persia. You, you know, I, I don't think I uh, could have uh, predicted when I made the first Prince of Persia game in the 1980s on the Apple II that it would last so long, you know, through so many different versions and you know, the evolution of video games and, you know, the idea that now, 25 years later, uh, we're here talking about Prince of Persia and, uh, you know, with, you know, toys and Graphic novels and uh, Lego, and now a, a movie. You know, you know, it's uh, you know, it's really more than uh, I, I could have imagined. Um, I guess, are you signed up for number two and three? <laughs> um, yeah, you have Disney ask this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You, you know, I, I think it's a, uh, it, it's been a six-year journey, you know, to bring this this movie from script to screen, and uh, you know. I think at this point, you know, the movie's about to open, you know, we're just hoping that, you know, audience, you know, audiences will like it and will go to see it. How would you define the magic that's in this film? Hmm. You know, you know for, for, me, for me, there's, you know, there's always been something about this, this world, you know, of ancient Persia and, and the tales of, of the Thousand and One Nights that's felt very mystical and magical and uh, it's, you know, it's fascinated me, and uh, I, I think uh, this movie really brings that to the screen, you know, in, in a way and on a scale with a attention to detail, you know, that's that's never been seen before.